Martial God Asura Chapter 4498 Song Yun's experience Of course not It's a relief that you're fine Chu Feng said before turning around to take his leave But in the end he still couldn't curb the curiosity in his heart He turned back around and asked the female cultivator Miss I noticed that there's something reminiscent of a venomous object in your body. Did something happen? Big brother, you're incredible. Did you see the thing that's in my head? The female cultivator exclaimed in astonishment. Yes, I can see it. May I know where that thing in your head came from? Chu Feng asked. Someone implanted it in my head when I was 8, the female cultivator replied. Her eyes were widened innocently, making her look like a harmless rabbit. Seeing how a lady as adorable as her was actually implanted with such a terrifying monster, Chu Feng couldn't help but feel sympathy for her. Who is it? Do you know the person who did it? Chu Feng continued asking. He's a weird person who wears a red robe and a white straw hat, but I don't know who he is. Oh, And there are the words hell and void written on his robe too. The female cultivator said, hearing all of this, Chu Feng was positive and the one who had planted the monster into the body of the female cultivator was from the same organization as the one who laid his hands on the grandson of the blood devouring hall. The description given by the female cultivator tallied with the one from the blood devouring hall's hall master. Do you know why they planted the monster in your body? Chu Feng asked. I don't know. But big brother, why are you so curious? Could it be that you know someone who has the thing placed in his head too? The female cultivator asked while blinking her large eyes. I know a friend whose grandson is suffering from the same condition as you. If I'm not mistaken, the culprit should be the same group of people as the one who did it to you. It's just that he isn't as lucky as you. He used to be a talented cultivator, but after the thing was placed into his head, he lost his intelligence and became unable to cultivate. It's difficult for him to even communicate with others, Chu Feng said. That bunch of people sure are evil. If it wasn't for my big sister bringing me medicine, I would have ended in the same state as your friend's grandson. The female cultivator harumphed hatefully as she spoke about the mysterious organization. Oh? Miss, does that mean that your older sister managed to find some kind of medicine to suppress the thing inside your head? Chu Feng asked. Yeah. It's thanks to the medicine that I didn't become a fool. The female cultivator replied. May I ask what the medicine is? Chu Feng asked. The proliferation of the monsters was extremely terrifying. If even one of them were to grow to maturity and go on a rampage, the consequences would be dire. It would be good if he could learn the way to suppress them. I don't know either. I never asked my big sister where she got the medicine from, the female cultivator replied. Big brother, the test is going to be over soon. Let's leave this place first. I can tell you what you want to know along the way. Sounds good, Chu Feng replied with a nod. Then, he proceeded to head toward the exit with a female cultivator. Along the way, he found out that the female cultivator went by the name of Song Yun. Her parents were no longer in this world anymore, and her big sister was the only kin she had in the world. Her big sister seemed to be currently under the disciple of a renowned expert. She asked her big sister who this renowned expert was before, but her big sister was unwilling to tell her about it. As such, all she knew was that the renowned expert was a truly formidable figure in the world. On top of that, it would seem that the medicine her big sister gave her had something to do with this renowned expert. Speaking of which, The medicine was truly quite mystical. Not only did it allow Song Yun to retain her intelligence, but she could also cultivate like anyone else. As a result, despite only being 15, 
Song Yun was already at pinnacle exalted realm. Her talent was incredible, even by the standards of the Nine Souls Galaxy. If not for the disciples of the Lock Soul sect earlier having an utmost exalted level cultivator, they would have never been able to oppress Song Yun. As they chatted, they soon found themselves standing right before the exit of the test. As long as they passed through the exit, they would be in the Conqueror Star Mountain Villa in the next moment. But just as Chu Feng was about to pass through the exit, a hand suddenly pulled Chu Feng, stopping him. It was Song Yun. Big Brother Chu Feng, aren't you going to disguise yourself? Song Yun asked. Chu Feng had also shared a little bit about himself with Song Yun in the conversation earlier on. Why so? Is it because of the group of people from the Lok Soul sect? Chu Feng asked. Big brother, you don't have a deep understanding of the Lok Soul sect because you're from the Holy Light Galaxy. The Lok Soul sect is one of the most powerful sects in this world, and the sect master of the Lok Soul sect is a martial exalted level expert. On top of that, there are also a lot of talented disciples in their ranks as well and all of them are plenty strong. This is especially so for Hun Yong and Hun Lei, who are monstrously powerful. Right now, all of them are currently in the Conqueror Star Mountain Villa. You have offended the disciples of the Lok Soul sect in order to help me earlier, so they'll surely seek the others to exact vengeance on you. Given how the Lok Soul sect usually does things, they won't let you go easily. Song Yun told Chu Feng. Thanks for your advice, but I'll be fine. You can go on and disguise yourself, Chu Feng told Song Yun. If big brother Chu Feng isn't going to disguise himself, I won't do it either, Song Yun said stubbornly. That won't do. It's too dangerous for you. As Chu Feng spoke, he waved his arms and shrouded Song Yun in his spirit power. You. What are you doing to me? W what? How can you forcefully change my appearance? Wow, big brother Chu Feng, you're really incredible. On top of being an utmost exalted level cultivator, you're also a Saint Cloak World Spiritist too. Song Yun grumbled a little when Chu Feng forcefully changed her appearance, but she wasn't really angry about it. If anything, she was more impressed by the prowess Chu Feng had displayed. On the other hand, Chu Feng simply smiled to himself before walking out of the egg set.